All right, let's do this. Uh, don't know how I like this start, but I feel like it could be pretty solid. I'm gonna pick up, should I turn this into a, maybe I should turn this into a torch instead. It will use less money at least, cause I wanna pick up this broom. We also got this lump of coal here. So I could just turn this into a torch. I think that might be the best play and then picking up the broom. Want a buckler on sale is kind of nice. I'll pick it up. No space, but I did get Beanands. Also got Walrus Tusk for Spiked Shield. Um, Let's see here. I want Beanands. I'm gonna get Beanands next round. I'm gonna get Spiked Shield this round. Roll for space? No space. Take it a whetstone though. Honestly, don't know which one would be better. Like I could try to go for a stone sword and then a heat sword or a flame sword, or I could just keep this as torch. Making it as torch and just rocking torch broom would be the best play financially, but I don't know what would be the best play in the long run, right? Cause we need to, we need to stack up some rounds here. Well, when it gets the Reaper, I do. Awesome. Awesome combo um let's get fanny pack because that should help us out a decent little bit stamina wise we're at 1.4 getting this banana would probably be the best play here i also want to get this so i'm gonna buy both of those give me a roll where's the space man where's the space i need to turn it into a burning torch um and i guess we'll just add on a flame can't really add on the torch because it's not going to turn into a burning torch that's the whole purpose to turn into a burning torch, right? Um, we should win. I mean, we have weapons, they don't. So like, I imagine we win this. Yeah. All right, good game. Finally got space. I like that. Let me get that other banana. Let's see here, what do we got? One gold. We are broke, completely broke. I kind of want that lump of coal. Okay, let's do this. I'm gonna keep the other banana out for now, I think. I wonder if that's a good play or not. I actually don't know. Um, I'm gonna try it. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens here. We'll keep the banana out. Going against just a dragon claw. Okay, and a broom and a foraging hammer. Okay, I don't know. Stamina wise. We did stam it out like twice there, but they did have a shield to be fair. Okay. Honestly, we could sell both of these and just go with Thorn Whip because we want a Blood Thorn, right? So we could sell both of those because the Thorn Whip uses up a bunch of stamina anyways. And plus we got Spike Shields, so that'll help get that Spike mount up faster to help with the DPS of the Thorn Whip. So I think that's what we'll do. Sell both of these, get the Thorn Whip, but Thorn Whip like here for now deciding on if I should get space here or should I get the chili pepper here? Because I do need space in order to use both of these bananas. But I mean, we're only one of one. We're using less stamina than we did with our old setup, right? So we could just rock one banana. We don't really need to rock both. I think I want to get space here though, honestly. Yeah, I think I'm just going to get space here. Um, and that way I can fit everything that I have already. We're going to save the chili because chili is good. And honestly, getting the corrupted heart could be fire. That can help with unhealing. Uh, mainly just corrupted helmet, right? How much gold are we getting next round? 10. So we'll get 11. And that's going to cost us 12. I think I'm gonna pass on it. I'm gonna pass on a corrupted crystal for now, but I do want to get the chili. I think the chili is more important. I know exactly the build you're going for, my friend. We might lose against this guy. Yep, and we missed right there. Yeah. GG's though, GG's. Okay, let's get you, roll. More space. All right, not the bestless rolls, unfortunately, but 
Maybe it'll be okay. There we go. Okay. So I'm, I'm really... Uh, this is the second Gubit I've seen on sale. I'm really hoping for a Bloodthorn. If I can, like, get that as soon as possible, we would be in a really good position, I think. So I'm trying to kind of W key for that a little bit. And we're good stamina-wise, it seems. Plus, the speed is ramping up because of the uh, the chili and then the spikes as well. It's really good for us. Good game. Let's get this for space. Bloodthorn? I'll take more chili. Also need to get the gloves of haste. I'll take more chili, though. Reserve the gloves of haste. I wish I could put the... Well, can I? No. Nope. Unless I uh, rearrange. A little bit better here. Do something like that instead. That'll work for me. Also, I do have like a rogue fanny pack up there that's not being used. More heat though, which is good. Going against a poison build. Spice is probably going to be our biggest thing here. The combat, because he's got two melee weapons. I think we win this. Amazing. Awesome. Alrighty. 10 gold. I need the space though. Only get two rerolls? Come on. That's a sun armor. I gotta take the sun armor, bro. It's on sale. You can never pass up sun armor on sale. Never. Never in a million years. It's on sale. And the next round is gonna be a round where you get to choose our item. Still no hungry blade though, so... This is looking a little scary. Especially considering the next items we're buying are kind of expensive. At least one of them's on sale. This is like a very nice looking build. It's just aesthetically pleasing, truthfully. I think we lose though. Yeah. Because he's building spikes up just like we are, except he's not affected by the spikes. Because he's rocking bows and arrows. What do we got, 11? I'm gonna get this. I'm not gonna get this yet though, because we're not using stamina like that anyways. Give me a Hungry Blade game. Wow. Looks like we're gonna have to suffer. It's a little bit longer. Yeah, we can just rock uh, something like this. Okay. Now we're just W King for a Hungry Blade. That's all we're doing now. Oh, similar build. He's probably gonna beat us though. Blind is a thing. Plus Flame Whip, he's got Spike Generation. Heat's a thing, blind is a thing. The only thing we can rely on is out healing probably, but that's probably not gonna happen. Cause that thing is dangerously dangerous. Yeah. Good game, good game. Give me a, thank you. I appreciate you. Nice, awesome. Space, got space, beautiful. Let's, uh, yeah, I'm gonna sell you now. Give me some space. All right, we're just gonna put you right there. Let you do your thing. These guys can go there. Um, I think I'm honestly just gonna move sun armor up by one. Put more heat items around him. Well, something like that. Um, uh, what's this, 20%? I mean, these are already at 20%. Bird? I guess we can get the Corrupted Crystal now. I'm not opposed to that. Another one. Wow, do we need two? I kind of just want to get a cap of discomfort. That's really about it. Because I'm not getting the hearts, right? I'm not getting the, the Dark of Heartness. I'm just getting the cap of discomfort. So I feel like we don't really need two. Lacking in stamina here. But we got healing. We got our Vampirism, which is good. We got our, uh, the sun armor, which is good. So we were good there as far as healing goes. Nice. Okay, so let's set this up a little bit differently. I'm going to put you over here. A little situation like this. Um, um, how do I want this to be set up? Well, I could, I guess, move this entire setup over here, right? Because I want sun armor to be affecting this burning banner. 
and I also want Sun Armor to be surrounded by healing items, because that's important, which means I could just put food items over here, I guess. Maybe something like... Like that. Okay. Uh, that's a lot of star slots, so this works. This works. Oops. Awesome. Okay. And let's get the cap. Put it there. More space. Don't mind if I do. So we're just missing one star slot on that, which is perfect. Awesome. All right, this is looking good. Um, I guess the only thing I need now is probably orbs, draconic orbs, so we can get two more activators for blind on that other side over there. I think that'd be great. Yo, sh 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 Shizzle, I think. Thank you for the Twitch Prime sub. Wow, I was not expecting that. Sh shizzle, Shizzle Wizzle. <laughs> You have a cool name. I appreciate that though. Thank you so much. That was unexpected and, and a surprise for sure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Shizzle Wizzle. That's my third corrupted crystal. In a row. That's kind of crazy. I want to get this pineapple. So what I think I'm going to do is we're going to get the capital discomfort and I'm thinking I sell two heat. And I pick up this pineapple. No problem, but thank you, my friend. I appreciate that. That's freaking awesome. <laughs> Can I... F uh... Actually, this works, right? Boom, boom. Boom. Boom? Or boom? I'm thinking that looks good. Now we just need more space, um, more gloves, vampire gloves, stuff like that. Interesting build, what the heck? He's going for a poison build combined with a magic torch build. I've never seen anything like it. It's a very interesting. Very, very interesting. I think we win. Yeah, okay, cool. Very interesting build. Good game though. Ooh. All right, there goes our blood amulet for the vampire gloves. And then we also got Dracunic Orb for the activating and for the crits, which we're gonna need that. Um, ice, well, it's pretty expensive. I'm gonna just get this first, just so I can get me a combination off now versus later. Turn that to burning coal, get some space. We do probably have a stamina issue. The faster we make this, the worse because of stamina. Even with having two bananas. So I want to get myself a flute. Especially if we go against somebody with a shield. Then we're kind of fucked, right? So we need to find a flute to fix that stamina issue ASAP. GG's. Speaking of flute. Game looks fun. It is. It is a lot of fun. It A lot, a lot of fun. I'm assuming you've never played it before. So I highly recommend you play it. If it's up your, um, if it's up your alley, I highly recommend you play it. Where do I put this? Ooh, that's... No. Um... The more star slots, the better. I guess this wouldn't be a horrible spot. This would be a good spot. But then where's the pineapple gonna go? So I think I'm just gonna put it there. Because we can fit more stuff up here once we get space for it. Um, I'm just going to sell two heat here, I think. Just to buy the Dracunic Orb. So it's an activator on that burning banner. And then plus we get the crits from Dracunic Orb. Which is good. Really, really good. Okay, I'm back. What are we going against? Wow. Hammer dagger build with leaf badge. With dragon nest? And we're losing? I'm actually surprised. 
I think we win this at the end of the day, but very surprised actually that we were losing that. But he's out of stamina. He's getting the curse from Acorn Collar for his daggers. But we must have taken like a bunch of burst damage at the very beginning there. You play against other people? Yeah, you do. So these are all other people's builds that I'm playing against right now. Hey, fencing, fencing, rapier. Um, actually, you know what? I think I'm going to move this up by one so I can put this gloves of haste in. I think that'll be a little bit better. Okay. And it's an extra slot, star slot over there too, so that's good. Okay, um, roll. I'll pick up another Dracunic Orb. What I'm looking for is hearts. That's kind of what I want right now. Oh, there we go. Nice. Got myself a heart container. That can go right there. A little bit more uh, space would be good too. Cigarette Cat. What a name. Dark Saber Poison Build, huh? Okay. Looks like we're doing pretty good so far. And they're out of stamina. <laughs> they need some stamina potions in that. Yep. Wow. An artifact of cold on sale. I've got to pick that up. Got to pick that up. Put that right there. And Draconic Orb can go there. Not enough money for the heart, but I can roll two times. Okay, I'll take that. I needed space anyways, so that's good. Okay. That sun shield is going to be annoying to deal with. I wonder how viable Draconic Orbs are on this build. They seem decently viable if I get more. It's just, I saw it crit, but it crit for 12 damage. <laughs> oh, we're out of stam. No! Flutes! Bananas! And you put 10 blind on me? My accuracy is 60%. That's not good. Look at me, miss, miss. Okay, we're, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine here, I think. There we go. That was a scary one. Um, We're at 14 gold. I'm just going to do that to put you here. I should probably move it, though. Ooh, I, I should probably move it up here. So it can get that star slot from the burning banner. Which is good. And with two gold left... Um, I was going to get another Gloves of Haste, but I can't really put it anywhere. I would like to put it here, but then, you know, Artifact of Cold, where that's going to go. I couldn't move it here. That means a whole new food situation. So what I think I'm going to do instead is probably just sell some heat. Buy the Stamina Sack, put it here. I could still buy this though, put it in next round and just move my food situation somewhere else. Higher. Since I got that stamina sack now. Oh, that's a lot of potions. Mr. Dagger build. Are those all poison potions? Those are, those are all poison daggers. And he's got four of them. Working on his fifth one. But that spot. Oh my gosh, that hurt so much. The empowerment. No, we lose this. We lose this. There's no way. Yeah, that was crazy. The empowerment. Seven empowerment. So all his daggers are doing a lot more damage. Plus, having the 45 poison on us. It's crazy. He got that from uh, proccing this heart container. Well, he got two empowerment from that, and the rest came from the, uh, the heroic potions. Crazy. Yeah. Freaking nuts. Good game, though. definitely pick you up um i'm gonna roll got another heart and another cap on cell is good so let's move this situation like this so that the weapon is inside all fannies plus it's getting super speed from the the gloves of haste and then we could just move this situation like so okay 
Well, no, we need to, because the, the weapon needs to go on this uh, artifact. So we're going to have to move this down a little bit. But then again, I want the banana to be on the gloves of haste. So I guess we'll just have to do something like this. That works. That works. And then we can buy this. Put that there. More space is great. We're only on the second round, though, so we can't get any more combinations. So buying this blood amulet. Next round is probably pointless. You fall since 2021? Sheesh. You have to check out this game out, though. Yeah, you should. They have a free demo if you want to check that out. Although there might not be that many people playing it because I think everyone's playing the full version now. But I mean, they do have a demo. But it is definitely a great, great, great game. It was two years ago, huh? I wonder what game I was playing two years ago. I feel like it was either Wizard 101 or Rocket League. I'm gonna have to sell some heat here to get this card container. Not sure where to put the heart container. I guess right here would be the ideal location. All right, this is the build. We got super gloved up Bloodthorn. And then we got the burning banner. Sun armor is nice. Double uh, Draconic orb. Heart container for the blind plus the orbs. Well, just one orb. Unless I were to move this down by one. And then I could fit both orbs in there. Plus the heart container. And then I also guess I can move this here to fit the other heart container in there. Just to maximize the only amount of blood that we uh, inflict our opponent with. As far as the hats go, I can move this down by one. Put a hat there, and this can just go anywhere. Um, I guess that works. Yeah. Do I still play? Oh, it's Rocket League. I, I play occasionally here and there. Occasionally. Like maybe like once every like two days or something like that. Look at the amount of blind this dude's putting on me. He's got a lot of activators. That's probably why. Plus double glowing crown. Triple glowing crown. He's rocking egg scalibur too. The triple glowing crown is crazy. Plus that shield being there is mighty annoying for my Bloodthorn. Mighty annoying. The biggest thing here though, I think, will probably just be the fact that his Excalibur isn't as strong. And Spikes is going to be our biggest thing. Because every time he hits us, he's taking the exact same amount of damage back through Spikes. But we're both removing debuffs from each other. Because Burning Banner. At least I think Blurning Banner is the one removing debuffs. But we just keep increasing the damage, so that's the thing. And that's why we're going to win this. His Excalibur doesn't increase in damage. It just stays that for the entire game. Our weapon increases in damage because the more Vampirism we get, the more Spikes we get, we increase in damage. And then the regeneration every hit just turns into more Vampirism and more Spikes. Plus, procking both Heart Containers here increases our maximum health by 180. And then our healing is increased by 30%, which is pretty damn crazy. It is a really good build. I, I guess the only way to make this build better, better, honestly, I don't think you need Dracunic Orbs. I, like, you don't really need the crit with this build because the Dracunic Orbs is good for early game crits, but this weapon is weak in the start of the matches. It needs time to actually build up to get stronger damage, right? Because otherwise, you're going to be critting for 13 damage and you're going to use up all your crits. The only other reason that this would be beneficial, realistically, is to probably combat a Spikes build and turn it into your own heat or just use it for activators for blind. That's the only reason, honestly. But these are expensive. So I feel like I would just use these on early game survivability. Maybe like a crown and a mana orb to get a crown proc or something like that, I guess. Um, but yeah, I, I feel like that's the only way to make it better. More stamina would be good too. Probably rocking double flutes maybe. Because we definitely stamped out. Well, he did have a shield though. But, you, you know, we still stand up. 
But yeah, you have to go see you, bro. Peace out. I appreciate you being here as always. And thank you for the Twitch Prime stuff as well. You are amazing. Uh, but yeah, I feel like that's the only way to make this build probably a little bit better is just not focus on Dracunic Orbs. Um, and maybe another heart container. I don't know. But yeah, that's what I would do. Good game, though. Overall, good game. <laughs>